Hey everybody, it's Tuesday morning, I'm still in the process of getting all the lights and everything turned on, but I saw this, and I wanted to get it on video before anything happens to it. That is the sloughed shell of a crayfish. It's not a dead crayfish, but one of the crayfish apparently in here has molted. And that is its remaining shell. I'm going to leave it in here because there's lots of food material still attached to the shell. And the shell itself will actually be devoured uh, by the other crayfish. And it's a good source of calcium. But what that means is I have a soft shell somewhere in the tank. And soft shells, as the name implies, are very, very vulnerable to attack from other uh, crayfish or even from fish. The shell is literally as soft as flesh until it hardens. It takes a few days for it to really solidify. And when it's soft like that, the you know even the fish can come along and just bite legs off or bite chunks out of the claws. There's absolutely no uh, strength to the shell at all. It's literally as soft as flesh. So we've got a few days where I've got somebody in the tank that's really vulnerable and it should be interesting to see whether or not they survive. Uh, usually they don't in an enclosed environment like this where they don't unless they can really really get a good hiding place where nothing can get to them and they can just lay low for a few days. Uh, chances are they probably won't survive. One of these bigger crayfish in here uh, will make short work of them. But it's going to be uh, difficult to tell who's who and which one's sloughed and whether or not it survived etc so rest assured I will certainly get anything interesting I see on video and I will <clears throat> I will certainly post it so make sure you're subscribed and then you won't miss any of the updates hopefully we'll have some actually uh, interesting crayfish action going on here pretty soon I also wanted to show you this fish back here some of these uh, minnows absolutely love this fast moving water. That's a 1500 gallon per hour power head. And these minnows will often just sit there right in the current for long periods of time, just swimming upstream. It's kind of interesting to watch. There's only one doing it right now, but quite often I'll look over there and there'll be four or five of them. Uh, sometimes they get swimming upstream so furiously, I'm actually worried about their safety. They'll swim up through the current right to the power head, and then when they swim past where the power head is, all that force they're exerting to swim against that current, and then they're suddenly not in any current. It's kind of funny to watch. They dart forward, and sometimes they will actually bash right into the side of the glass. It reminds me of when you pick up a milk jug and you think it's full and it wind, it's you know it's almost empty and you wind up slamming the jug into the top of the refrigerator because you're putting so much effort into it and there's just there's no resistance and that's what happens to these fish they'll swim upstream right up until the point where there's no resistance and then suddenly they rocket forward and bash into the glass so hopefully I won't lose any that way uh, but it is interesting to see and maybe I'll be able to get some of that uh, activity on video as well so just a little update, we do have a sloughed crayfish, so we do have a basically a little vulnerable soft-shelled naked crayfish in there somewhere. No idea where, no idea whether it will be able to survive or not. And uh, other than that, I don't really have a whole lot going on in here that I can see this morning. Nothing uh, out of the ordinary. Well, here's two fish that are, there's a group of fish and they're all swimming around with something that looks an awful lot like a piece of crayfish so my guess is that there is indeed a soft shell crayfish somewhere in this tank and it's already getting nipped on I don't see the little piece of meat anymore but I did get a brief look at it maybe I'll go back and look at the video and try to pause it uh, or you at home may want to try that yourself and see what that was they were chewing on it looked like a section of leg and like a joint of leg where the leg meets the body and my tilapia went over here and just had a peck at the sloughed shell so it's possible that what we just saw these minnows with was a piece of the sloughed shell but I doubt it these minnows don't have teeth they're not like you know little tetras or something they have those little razor sharp teeth these are minnows they don't have any teeth at all so if they're going to be chewing on something it's got to be really really soft I can't imagine one of these minnows 
um, picking up a piece of crayfish shell and then having everybody fight over it like that. They were fighting over that like it was a nice juicy piece of tender flesh. So I'm guessing we do indeed have a sloughed, you know, a soft shell crayfish in this tank somewhere that at this point probably already has damage done to it. So again, make sure you're subscribed. That way you won't miss any of the updates I've got. I will get anything interesting I can find on TV or on a video right here. Um, it's supposed to be rainy today. So chances are I will be inside most of the day. So there's a good chance I might be able to catch something really interesting on this. Again, if you're subscribed, you won't miss any of that. So thanks for watching this one. Don't forget this is my native tank. I'll see you real soon on any updates I got coming up.